I'm eight years old and I'm in grade three. I'm David and I'm eight years old too. We go to Holy Spirit School in Aurora. Holy Spirit is pretty much like any school in Ontario. We have a nice gym, a great library, and we have lots of kids in our school in every shape and size. Our class is pretty neat. Everyone gets along really well. I'm not sure why, but lots of kids in our class are nice to each other. No one is really nasty or mean. Don't get me wrong, we're not a bunch of angels or anything. Things can get pretty wild, and kids can get really silly sometimes. But I guess that's just what happens in grade three. Our teacher, Mrs. Cruz Campbell, is pretty nice and pretty pretty. Well, it's hard for her to admit it. I think we're her favorite class. Mrs. Campbell, would you say we're the best class you ever had? Of course, David, absolutely. <laughs> One thing that's really special about our class is my friend, Dylan. She's really nice and fun. Most of us have been in the same class as her since kindergarten. Dylan can do a lot of the same things we can. But she has autism, so she does some things differently. She doesn't always look at you or answer you when you talk to her. She sometimes doesn't understand why you're asking her. She gets upset sometimes. If she pinches you or hits you, you're supposed to say, no pinching, Dylan. She likes humming and singing, and sometimes she's really noisy. She just hums away. Miss Leslie helps Dylan every day. She does some of the same stuff as everybody else. And then she does some different things, too. She helps organize the school milk program. This year, for Tune for Autism Day, Miss Leslie is helping us put together a presentation on autism and on Dylan. And we're going to every class in the school to present it. Okay, guys, what do you think our presentation should be about? We can talk about autism and what it is. Because no one in the school knows what autism is. Yeah, it should be about Dylan. She's our friend and some kids don't know her. We worked really hard on our presentation because we wanted everyone in the school to know about Dylan so they'd be her friend too. Or at least say hi or help her when she needed help. Welcome everybody. Mrs. Cruz Campbell's grade three class is here today to give you a presentation on autism. We have a friend in our class who has autism, Dylan, and we want to help her by helping you to understand her. Autism is a disorder that affects nearly 8,000 students in Ontario. That's as many as 10 times the number of students who go to our school. Autism affects the brain and senses. You can't catch autism. It's not like a cold or the flu. Dylan can talk, but she doesn't always understand what we say to her. Oh, so you're a baby on a, a fire. No, Dylan, they're just flames. And she can be hard to understand sometimes. Some kids with autism can't talk, but they might use sign language, communication boards, or pictures or gestures like pointing to help them understand. When we ask Dylan something, it helps her to understand if we point or show her what we mean. Some kids with autism have unusual behaviors. They might talk about the same things all the time or flap or wave their arms or walk on their tippy toes. Dylan hums and sings and makes lots of sounds. At first it seemed weird, but now we've got very used to it. It's no big deal. She can't help it. When Dylan starts getting noisy, it's a signal that something's bothering her. She hums to calm herself down. It's kind of like when I get nervous. I tap my pencil and fidget. I don't even know that I'm doing it, but it helps me relax. Some kids with autism get really frustrated and can get upset over different things. 
Well, everyone is different. Some kids with autism see things, hear things, and even feel things differently. For example, things like a burned out light bulb, hearing a lawnmower in the background, or feeling a shirt label rubbing on your neck. Little things like this can really bother someone with autism. When they're upset, they might cry or scream. A lot of the time, it can be hard to figure out why. We found that Dylan often gets upset first thing in the morning when everyone's running around as wild in the hallway. When she's upset, we've learned to give her some space to let her calm down. Miss Leslie told us that many kids with autism are lonely and don't have any friends, but Dylan is lucky to have so many. But it doesn't make sense to us because Dylan is just fun. She comes to all the birthday parties she's invited to. Good girl, did again. And we all celebrate her birthday. Her mom invites kids home after school to play with Dylan and to have supper. And some of us go shopping with her. Do you know somebody who has autism or a disability? Do you think they might be lonely? Do you ever invite them to join you and your friends? Would you like to do something with them after school or on weekends? We've put together a list of tips we found helpful for our friend Dylan. Hopefully you can use these to help be a friend to someone with autism. Don't tease Dylan. No one likes to be teased and some kids with autism don't know what teasing is. If other kids are teasing Dylan, we pull them aside and tell them to stop. Treat Dylan like anyone else. And talk to her like you would to any of your friends. Don't talk to her like she's a baby, just be natural. Include Dylan. How would you like it if you never got an invitation? It hurts to be left out. Whether it's sitting together at lunch, playing a game, or going to a party, somebody always thinks to invite Dylan. Be patient and understand it. Dylan does some unusual things, but she can't help it. If she does something that bothers us, we can help her by being patient. She isn't doing it on purpose. Be helpful, but not too helpful. If anyone sees Dylan in trouble or in a dangerous situation, somebody steps in and helps. But on the other hand, we don't want to be too helpful and do too much for Dylan. It's important she learns to do things for herself. Don't be afraid to ask questions. If we have questions about Dylan or don't know what to do in a situation, we ask a teacher or Dylan's parents. The more we understand about Dylan, the better friend we can be. Thank you for listening to us. Some people think that it's good for Dylan to be in our class, that she'll learn a lot from us. But I think the opposite is true. We've all learned a lot from Dylan. Dylan has taught me that everyone is special and different. Dylan has autism. I have glasses. My other friend speaks with an accent. Can you imagine how boring it would be if everyone was the same? Learning about autism and helping with Tuni for Autism Day makes me want to help other people who need help. Understanding Dylan when she gets upset and learning to think of what she needs have helped me be more patient when other kids get upset. Sure, Dylan can't do lots of things, but she can do lots of things too. Maybe because we care about Dylan, we care a little more about each other too. Maybe that's why we have such a great class.